Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. We're back with another round of Total Warhammer. That's right, I'm not even bothering with the whole Total War Warhammer thing. It's a stupid name anyway. Why would you ever abandon such a logical and intuitive concept as Total Warfare? All right, so we just knocked the socks off of the Goblin Army up here. And for the moment, we have a couple of grudges to pick up. I know that I said I had no grudges in the last one, but... What had happened was, <laughs> I started for the next video and a couple of things went horribly, horribly wrong. I was going to leave them in recording and then I actually had a game crash. I'm not sure why and it lost the save point. So I've actually been playing back up to this point and along the way I picked up two extra grudges. So anyway, we're going to pick up where we left off essentially and what we've got to do, I did not maintain 10 public order in the Silver Road province. So I still have to fulfill that one. And then I picked up this one, defeat the following Lord's Army in battle, the Bloody Spears, because I had an attack on one of my provinces here by that person there. And he did a number on it, to be honest. So yeah, I've got to track him down and kill him. And he is somewhere over here. The only other thing that is different in this particular one is the fact that I have Relations a diplomatic with relationship with Karak Gadrin. Kadrin. Your situation carefully. Um, we have a military alliance with him and a defensive alliance with Barak Var, just like we did in the past video. So that's pretty much everything that has changed for the moment. I do need to track down Bloody Spears, but for the moment I'm going to run back towards my capital and we're going to burn a few turns just letting our stockpiles build up. Um, at the moment I am plus eight on public order, so I think we need to pick out something else here. We've got the related families. I would like to go for Diplomat because that will give me a few more negotiation points and then maybe we can start flushing out some more things in the market. So. Without any further ado, actually with further ado, what do we want to do here? I've already got Pure Beard. I can do another level on that, which it reduces corruption by two. But I'm not experiencing any corruption at the moment, so I don't think that is a big deal. Um, let's see. Let's do... Let's do Weapon Strength plus three versus Greenskins, because basically everything we're doing right now is versus Greenskins. Huh. I have not even looked at this page. So, I picked up a weapon. Am I able to... Am I able to engage that weapon? Ah, yes. I've got Dragon Helm Armor. I've got no Talisman, no weapon. That was the thing that I picked up. Ah, so we're good. We shall burn a turn and hope that... Bloody Spears does not come back to plague the homeland. Bloody Spears move past, I think. Yes. All right. Let's go to Marching Stance. I'll let us traverse very quickly. And let's go again. I do know that the Bloody Spears home ground is way up there. Ah, that does not look healthy, but I'm not terribly interested in that. Templehof has been obliterated. There is nothing left apart from the echoing laughter of thirsting gods. That is a very, I don't know, a very depressing statement about the religious beliefs of this culture. Okay, on again we go. Although I guess it's a warrior culture, so... You're going to be doing everything that you possibly can to appease the gods through warfare and such things. Through shoot diplomacy, the Greenskins have convinced Scabii to join them. And the winds of magic have changed once again, and I do not care. So, let's go over here, because I do know Bloody Spears, the last place I saw him was over here. And the problem is going to be actually tracking him down. I could also go for Iron Rock, which will get me access to some very spectacular resource bonuses. Um, I think most of my stuff is fully healed. I cannot recruit because of my stance. Well, 
we shall burn a turn and then come back and do some recruiting. Let's see, Toolmakers Guild. Let us do that one, I think. And then on you. I'm telling you, the shields that these guys are carrying, I could have sworn that they were wheels on a cart the first time I saw it. It just keeps catching my eye and doing weird things to my brain as that goes on. I have finished the tier 3 upgrade on this settlement, so that means I can build another building. Let's see what we can do here. Um, I do need an armory because that is going to unlock some extremely useful units for me. Quarrelers, Longbeards, Slayers, and Dwarf Warriors. The one I'm particularly interested in is Quarrelers because having long range weaponry in your army is an essential point of battle. That is one thing I found out when you guys were not watching. Um, I got smashed because I lost the long range units in my army and yeah, that, that did not end well. Okay, so we're going to upgrade the drinking hall. We shall have even better public order. And that's going to wrap it up for this turn. I feel that a lot of this game is spent just burning turns. Maybe that is an accurate assessment. Maybe it is not. I'm not entirely sure. All right, we are going to gain 11 this next turn. I don't really know that I need more buildings, so I'm going to leave these settlements at level one. Not that I have a choice because I only have one surplus. Um, let From us batteries. swamp Let's stance touch. and recruit some. More long range is definitely not a bad thing. We require an armory and a gunsmith's forge. That is one building that I will need. I'm going to need a gunsmith at some point. What is uh, miners with blasting charges? <laughs> because nothing could possibly go wrong if you hand C4 to the commoners, right? Right. Um, let's grab... I did not realize I was so low on funding. Let's leave it like it is, then. That's right, because I have not had any conquests or fulfilled any grudges recently, and I have taxes turned off so that, um, so that my population's happiness is going up. The populace in one of your settlements is gradually vanishing on certain nights while ghettos or districts are left abandoned. The only clue for the remaining denizens is a triangular symbol daubed on a nearby gate. What the crap? That sounds like the beginning of a horror movie. What is this mess? Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't rename the settlements. Ha, I forgot to do that. Mighty Midget Fortress. We're going to do, this one was Skull Rock. And I still don't know what this one is going to be, Mount Squighorn. Although I'm still thinking that I might just leave that one because it is somewhat hilariously named. Okay, pass another turn. We're on turn 20 now. It's actually going rather quickly. No one. Hi, lad. what can I do? Oh. The pacification grudge is successful, so we get 3,000 awarded to the treasury. Huh. Powerful Engineers Guild has sent one of their top tinkerers to inspect this holds workshops after hearing concerning rumors of innovation. Oh, because innovation is a bad thing. On his arrival, he is so impressed with the work done, he decides to stay. So we recruited another hero. That is fantastic. A master engineer. Let's see. What do you do for us? Why is it doing this? Okay. Individual here. Oh, he can assassinate people? Oh, that's badass. Although individual heroes on the campaign map can be targeted directly, attempting an assassination of a lord or embedded hero requires you to target... The Containing Force. Note that a legendary lords, yada, yada, yada. Okay, well, we're going to leave him here for just a few minutes, although his abilities might come in very, very handy later on. Um, 
We cannot march with him nah, at this precise miss, moment. Uh... Okay. I'm going to have to keep that in mind because that looks pretty freaking awesome. It is time. Use your tools. Use your tools. Now we can recruit. Because we have money. All right. So we're going to recruit two quarrelers. And reduce our funding just a little bit. Burn one more turn. Once we have those quarrelers in our forces, we're going to go down here and try to take this rock. What is the name of it again? It is the Iron Rock. That should be easy to remember. And that will also get us closer to where I last saw the Blood Spears. So let's head on down this way. Hey, oh. We'll be able to pass through these guys' lands no problem because we do have a defensive alliance with them. We also need to pick another one of these. Let's see, dwarf grinding stones are always perfectly round and decorated with geometric scrawls and runes, usually of Valaya's making. There is so much lore packed into every single one of these things. Let's see, diplomatic relations plus three, growth plus ten on all provinces. I think we're going to do that. That sounds like a fantastic perk to have. And we're going to turn another turn. I am in the negative now. I did not realize that. So it's going to be hitting my treasury every single turn until I generate some more income. Which is the entire point of taking Iron Rock. Storm clouds gather in the north. There are rumors that the barbarous tribes residing in the shadow of chaos have ceased striving against each other for the attention of the dark gods and are instead banding together. Ah, there is nothing worse than warring tribes finding a common enemy or of common cause. Marshal your strength, nurture your sinews of war, build your walls high, gather warriors to your banner, and temper them in the crucible of battle, so that when the time comes, you may yet weather the storm. Well, that's, uh... At least we know it's coming. At least we know it's coming. Well, no duh, Barakvar failed negotiations with Red Fangs. Winter Dwarves, I'm gonna succeed at negotiations with Orcs. Bids in belts. All right, we're going to get right up here on Iron Rock. On top of Iron Rock, can we attack it this turn? No, we can't. All right, we'll burn a turn here. Well, hello, fellow. Who are you? I can't actually... I can't... There we go. Spite Backbiter. He has got nothing going on. But I can't quite get over there to attack him, so let's uh, let, let's see what we can do to here. Battle. Ooh, we're one hundred percent guaranteed to win. I think I'm. I don't know. Do we want to fight this one? I think I think we want to fight this one. We're gonna go in for the fun of it because obviously we have vastly superior forces. They've got a bunch of half health crap, and we have a full battalion. If I lose this, I do not need to be playing Total Warhammer. Oh, no look at that. They actually have a camp over here. Does that affect how the battle goes? I'm not sure. All right. Onward and forward, dwarves. All right, we're going to go after, we've got sword infantry, spear infantry. Ah, they have no long range weaponry. Okay, catapults target the closest thing. And we are just going to consume them. We've got pickaxe, missile, axe, and the quarrelers on each side. Okay, so quarrelers. You guys are going to target them. You guys are going to target them. Do we have any other quarrelers? I don't... Ah, there we go. Quarrelers, attack there. You are also, so let's attack there. And everybody else... Charge! Get in there. And freaking decimate the enemy. We're probably just going to wipe them off the face of the earth before we even get into this battle. Look at this. 
<laughs> we outnumbered them three to one, and still they come to fight. Well, you can't accuse them of being cowards. That is for sure. Hit him from the flank. Hit him from the flank. We're going to go around this side. Looks like we're getting skirted over here. We have plenty of formations to spare, so we do not need to get into any preventable bad situations. Charge! Nice! Victory easily attained. I don't think we even took any casualties. We have one that is three quarters health and one that is like 99%. And other than that, it is completely and total a resounding victory. That's what I mean to say. <laughs> a resounding victory. One large army does a whole lot of good. I don't think that two, two medium-sized armies would do this well. So let's take control of this gigantic rock. We're definitely going to occupy. Um, settlement has just been plundered. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's the occupy it. Okay. Physical resistance. A precious stone that glows at the break of every dawn. As Bear is said to be protected by an invisible field. So we gained a talisman. That is definitely something that I need to engage on Thorin. Thorin Grudge Bear next time around. Okay, so. That is going to gain us some serious coin, if I'm not mistaken. And we have just expanded our empire once again. To war! We shall leave you here. You do not need to be repaired. Everything is good. You've got a sparring chamber currently. What to? Uh, what should I build over here? An iron mining pit generates 100 income and 28 ingots. Okay, we're going to demolish this because we have one already. And we are going to build one of these. Why can't we? Because it takes a turn to demolish, doofus. That's why. Brink is such a pro. You know that? Such a freaking pro. I have the forge fires glowing. Alright, so we've got two heroes. Neither of which this is super useful. By Grugni, this had better be good. What do you do? The runes are ready. I think he might generate income. Nope, he same set of uh, same set of stuff. Okay. Let me just Rune go in here swift stride. and deploy. The winds of that region. Nice. Okay, so we're sitting very, very nicely. Let's go ahead and set up taxes because we have enough of a surplus now that I can gain 868 income per turn and still have a positive personality in the view of my people. And I think that's going to be everything. We probably have a skill point. Yep, for sure. What do we want to do? We can get the next level, 8% versus green skins. Go for that. And I think... Yes, we need to engage the talisman. Dawnstone, automatically engaged. Okay. Another turn to burn. You know, I really, really wish I could have killed you before you got out of reach. But I suppose that is not anything we can do to help. Is that bloody Time for a nope. The ground shakes, the mountain trembles, but this is no earthquake. Something far more deadly approaches. A whack, or however you pronounce it. The warriors in Karag Droma are ready. Their weapons for the Bloody Spears tribe will show no mercy. Um. Okay then. So we need to 
Bugman's Brewery was once the greatest of brew houses where the fabled Bugman's, what is that, Quintuple X was created? You know, if it has more X's, it's got to be good. A few casks of which still exist, but it all ended when the Groby fell upon the fortified brewery, enslaving and killing the Bugman clan. Go slay the Greenskin and salve this open wood wound. Defeat three armies or garrisons from the following race, the Greenskin tribe. Okay. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. Let's go. Uh, we can actually expand our territory. We can go after Karag Drawn. Uh, one thing that I do need to do, though, is I want to recruit a hero and start building a second army. Because I'm getting slightly concerned over here. Um, let's see. Legendary Lord will be unlocked after occupying Karak Kadrin. Is that the one that I was just looking at? Nope. Karak Drawn. Never mind. Alright. So let's just go for a lowly hero. We'll go for Skali Morgrimel. Phlegmatic campaign line of sight. What are these names? Income plus 5%. I changed my mind. We're going to do that. We're going to go with Largs Gundrickson. Let us begin. All right. We need to start recruiting. We have 600 sustained income. So that means we can do, let's do two corlers. That'll be um, 260. Right. And then that leaves us 400. So if we do two of these will still be positive and we can do all of that in one turn so that'll give us a very strong little strike force I think that'll work out beautifully and here he comes back that, that makes me a little nervous join the war against red eye you know what I'm actually completely fine with that because he's going to pay me $1,000 and I don't have to do anything. So we'll accept. That is such a cynical way to look at the world. But you know what? I don't even feel bad. I don't even feel bad. Okay, so we're going to go take another settlement. Shall we take Black Crag? No, because it is in another territory and I can potentially close this loop here and occupy that. On Black Rock, what do we got over here? I need to build this. Military support, recruitment, defense. Ooh, I can build a fence. A solid gate or a stout garrison keeps the invaders out. Well, that is definitely interesting. I did not know that I could do that. Provides a garrison of one grudge thrower, two dwarf warriors, and three quarrelers great weapons. That is freaking awesome. Okay, well, we're going to go for the mine. Because that will increase our income right this second. And we're going to go ahead and move up this way to assault this location. Get as close as we can. Now watch, they're going to come raid this right here. He's going to see that I moved away and he's going to come for me. <laughs> I told you. I told you. He's on his way. Setting up a raiding camp. Well, I'm going to have to go down and take care of that situation. Raiding by Sour of Greenskins within Iron Rock Death Pass is affecting the local public order. That's not good. And then another grudge issued. We've got several to work on. Under the outraged sight of Grimnir, the Groby scum raid our mountains as they always have. Another grudge for the great book. Another wrong to be righted. More green skins to hunt and kill. We have to defeat the following Lord's army in battle. Sour green skins. Okay. Well, we're on our way to do it. So that is no problem whatsoever. We're in marching stance currently. So let's go down here. And we need to pick a new... Ah, plus 5% income from iron mines. Well, we just picked up an iron mine, so that is perfect timing. Let's go ahead and spend some time on that one. And he runs in fear. Screw you, buddy. Oh, 
just in freaking time. That could potentially be super bad. All right, there's another raiding camp up there. There's a green skin conflict to the north. Where is he? He is the one that just came onto our lands. Okay. A cloaked stranger from the misshrouded land of Albion approaches with a request. He is of sinister aspect, but assures you that his intentions are good. Grant the request. Chaos corruption plus four on all provinces for three turns, but we get $3,000. Send the Dark Emissary on their way. Um... Let's go for it. Because we're currently on minus 732. Our public order is being affected on like four fronts here. This is not healthy. But we're at 100 and we're still maintaining plus three. So that's good. That's very good, actually. All right. Can we make it? Yes, yes we can. Can we make it under normal stance? Very well. Ah, uh, just barely no. We're gonna move though. We're gonna get right on freaking top of them. And then up here. What kind of forces do you have? You have um a lot. That is the answer. You have a lot. You also have a lot. This makes me nervous. Let's see. Too bad I can't. Alright, I can embed the hero into a local army. This is my army. Let me see what I want to do here. Um, let's... Hmm. Ambush. Campaign movement is disabled. Hidden until discovered or battle initiated. Chance of spawning nearby foreign armies plus 50%. Okay. That's interesting. Right now, though, we're going to move you back here. And we want to embed him in... Yes. And we're going to embed him as well. So now we have three freaking heroes and a large company of very strong forces. However, it's still not as big as his are. And we're at a drastic, drastic negative because of the rating. So what we're going to do is we're going to recruit two more companies of quarrelers, which is going to make a pretty big hit in our treasury. But in one turn, I think we'll have enough forces with the three heroes together to actually take that on. So we're going to do that. Maybe this is a bad plan, but it is the plan that I have. Please don't take any settlements away from me. That would be terrifyingly bad. So now I'm fighting three armies. Will an attack be wise? And I have zero chance to win. Let's see. We're going to retreat. Because if they do follow us, potentially they won't have access to as many reinforcements. Okay, so you're going to flee that way. Okay, that works. At least we scared them away. <laughs> um, Let's see. Demands a military alliance. You know what? I'm not opposed to that. You're a dwarf. I'm a dwarf. Why can't all the dwarves just get along? We'll accept. And there he goes. He is going to hit Skull Rock. Freaking A. Um, we have no chance of winning. Literally no chance of winning. So let's just auto-resolve that and take the hit. Dang, it. 
He has raided us. And now we have major problems. We may just need to run on home because... This is starting to look very sketchy. Ick. Okay. Should I replenish? A giant dung heap? Oh my goodness. What did he do to my city? We're going to have to demolish the dung heap to even build anything. Okay, so what have you got left over here? We've got two armies. You are very strong. You are somewhat strong, but you're going to reinforce each other. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to marching stance. And I'm going to come home. Because even if I lose this... Uh, move, please. Thank you. Even if I lose this, that is better than um, losing more up here. And I do have a grudge out for these guys. So we're going to take another turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he goes. So sad. We lost Scalder Damon. Could not be avoided. I would rather have everything intact in my homeland than have an accessory mine way, way, way out here. Are they raising a wag? Rawr! Whatever it is. I don't, how would you say I pronounce that? We've lost Iron Rock to Grimgore Ironhide. Well, you know what? That was to be anticipated. So if we regain it again, we get uh, 750. Am I in negative public order yet? I'm probably in negative public order. Yes, 92 and minus 8. Wrap. All right, we're in marching stance. What do we get for normal stance? Beautiful. All right, we're going to run all the way back. Can we attack? Um, I, declare war on them. I can't actually attack this turn. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there, guys. It's a cliffhanger, but this episode has already gone on a long ways, and I want to create a save point before I go any further at all just in case anything else bad happens so i'm gonna wrap it up as always guys thank you so much for watching definitely leave a comment if you have any suggestions for how this is going and i'll see you